Hello again, Glitch Reaper here, back for some more crazy Minecraft, and you may be wondering why am I letting myself be so low on my hunger meter, when I almost never do that. Well, there's a very good reason. I'm going to be doing what might be kind of my finale. Uh, not sure if it'll be just one episode or if it'll be a two-parter, but part of that is because of what all I'm going to be doing. Now, I have my, uh, whoa, lag spike. Uh, it, I've already looked up what I need to there for, 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 for that part. I will Although, admittedly, uh, I will be needing this a bit more. Okay, anyhow, as I was going to be s <laughs> saying here, I'm going to be doing my full course meal. Uh, this is something that I got partially as a concept from the Torco anime, and partially just uh, thinking that is kind of a cool idea, having a gigantic meal for some sort of huge celebration. And the thing is, I'm going to be doing something very special. I'm going to be attempting to basically win the game. And yeah, I've, I've already beat the Ender Dragon, but this isn't that kind of win. This is something that has to do with rival rebels. If you detonate a nuke on top of your enemy's camp, in my case, Sigma Base being my enemy, then you win the game. And I really want to see what that's like to do that. Now, there's some other things that I could theoretically do, and I might do them later as specials, maybe even still using the pack that way, or I may even just come back to this world and do a few things here and there. But I think for the most part things are kind of wrapped up. Because I've done a lot of what I wanted to do. I fought just about all the bosses. I've been to pretty much every dimension that it's actually allowing me to go to. There are a few things that are basically just not happening for one technical reason or another. Some which meaning they just aren't working, and some of them meaning they're just not as included as I thought they would be. So, they're pretty much to that point. Now, there's still other things that one can do in this pack, yeah. Uh, but in terms of stuff I personally really wanted to do the most, I pretty much got that covered. So, I may do some stuff on and off here and there. Uh, this may not be a full finale, but we'll see. And part of that it will involve me having my full course meal as I'm assembling the nuke. So, I'll go through the process nice and slow, and we'll see how things work out. But, of course, I need to eat. I mean, this is going to be for the full course meal. And one thing is, for my appetizer, I have a block of cheese. Moon cheese. Mmm. Already gone. And I still need more food. <laughs> so it shows that this really is a really impressive meal. I, I let myself go down all that far, all that far, very, very purposely. Now, the thing is, I've got a couple of these uh, fish and chips because you do craft them in pairs. The block of moon cheese I kind of shown off before. This you have to do in a workshop table using a cooked fish and some French fries. The French fries themselves are made from chips, which themselves are made from potatoes which, of course, you have plenty. So that's for the special cooking worktop found in Food Plus. And I'm going to have this as part of my full course meal as well. This is the fish dish or seafood dish portion of my full course meal for Crazy Minecraft. And that tops me off for at least a little while. So I can now proceed to do some of my nuke creation. Now, I had a bit of a curiosity. The thing is, most of the components for things in Rival Rebels actually stem from four major initial components for the most part, and that is basically sand, cobblestone, gravel, and dirt. And I'm going to have to do some interesting things to get all that, because, and hence why I'm going to be eating my full course meal over the time that I'm assembling the nuke and getting the subcomponents. Like, for example, I can actually crush wheat. If I do this, I get a kind of biofuel uh, that's based on mechanism. But yeah, this biofuel. And I'm going to be needing this to actually use the metallurgic infuser to make dirt. Yeah, I know I have plenty available. It's not a hard resource to get. But I wanted to assemble this all from base components. And from what I've got renewably working. And that includes the fact that I have a cobblestone generator that's fully automatic and just giving me tons and tons of cobblestone, so why not use it? Also, it's kind of dramatic to do it this way. You get four biofuel per wheat, and I can easily produce an endless amount of wheat. In fact, I still have plenty left over. And this will give me a stack worth. But it is kind of interesting that you use the metallurgic infuser 
to do this. I mean, the biofuel isn't metal. I, I, I mean, it's just kind of crazy that way. It's not metal, and yet you use the metallurgic infuser? I'm going, isn't that normally reserved for making alloys? I mean, sure, it's nice that they didn't have to add a whole extra block just to do this process, but still, it's kind of a little weird. And that, that's... That's not coming lightly. Uh, now, I'm going to see if I can have my pliers also made from here. Cause I do have some somewhere. In fact, I'm wondering, do I have any in any of my bags of holding? Uh, not in there. I'm not holding on to spare pliers, apparently. Although it could be in one of my other things. Because I do have more than a few components around here. Uh, not in here? Okay. I probably wouldn't put it in here, because this is most... Yeah, that's mainly where I just have my safari nets in my safari net launcher. Probably wouldn't put it in my briefcase. Or would I? No, I have some other... Mi oh, I have a detonator. That's actually something I'm going to need. I have batteries. So it's good that I already have those, because I'm actually going to burn through some of them in the creation process for this nuke. Uh, probably not really that many, though, so I could I can put at least half the stack back. Uh, but yeah, I was curious if from a stack of the four basic components, can I make the nuke before running out of that? Just as a limiting factor to see if I can do it in that amount. Okay. So biofuel... Metallurgic infuser. Okay, so I need to give you sand to make dirt. Okay. <laughs> this is still a very funny thing you can do with this. Do I do I not have it charged up? Well, what else do you need? Maybe it lost its connection. Uh, that that's a strong possibility. Okay, do I have my thing here? Or is it in the other one? Yeah, there's my hammer. Uh, I, not the big hammer, of course. Oh, lag spike. I'll be back. Okay. Got it working again? Uh, I kind of, uh... I'm not sure how it got reset, but the units were in uh, megajoules rather than RF, and I needed to make sure it was an RF so that the connection would actually work. So, yeah, and then whenever I got that to happen, the biomass got fed into here, just like it would normally be for the metallurgic infuser, of getting an ingredient into its uh, kind of, well, it's, 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 its material buffer, basically. And then it's been adding it there. So while that's processing, I'll see if there's anything else I can do. Whoa, Nelly. Yeah, I, I am just back in, so lag spikes are a little more apparent during that time. Okay. Wow. Uh, now that area is chunk loaded, so it kind of makes me wonder if I want to do something else while I'm waiting. Let's see, did I ever put crystallium armor on one of these? Well, that's death set, and it's not rendering right. Uh, where'd my crystallium set go that I was gonna put on here? Did that just get completely destroyed? I think it may have just got completely destroyed. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so th there goes part of my decoration idea. Okay. Well, I do in fact have just a little bit left, so I might as well assemble this suit while I'm waiting and put it into its proper location. Unless, of course, it's not rendering in there at all, in which case that would be a little weird, but eh, it wouldn't be the first time I've had something like that happen. So, yeah. Okay, hold on there, buddy. We're, 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 we're getting through this. Is 
There we go. That's nice. So that part is fine. I also have another portion of my full course meal, even now, because there's certain things I can eat even whenever I'm, well, basically otherwise full. And part of that is a berry medley. So the salad portion is going to be my berry medley, and that was from Natura. Uh, an early discovery of any three Natura berries in this. Oh, wait, maybe I can't eat it while I'm full. Maybe I'm thinking of a different version. So that, that's going to have to stay. Oh well, I'll be good. Uh, now let's see, what else can I do? I... Hmm... Well, again, this area I think is chunk-loaded, so I think it'll be okay if I leave to do something else and come back. And uh, that progress is a little slow, so I, I, I should just go ahead and do something on the other side first. Or concurrently, rather. And I will probably need to fly, so... But yeah, that area is chunk-loaded. And I, I got that kind of set up pretty well. I mean, after all, it's it's chunk-loaded mainly to power my laser drill. And keep it humming, so I know the area works. Because I know it also covers the power tower. Ah, uh, it lagged just the right time to keep me in. I, therefore, I couldn't do the double jump to fly right. Okay, so it happens. Uh, there, there's a certain bit of things with lagology. So let's let's try this a bit different. Maybe I won't double jump immediately and just kind of see if I can get off the side. Because it's good to fly out of this exact position for me because I'm under an area that's often letting me out at night. Well, in this case, it's actually broad day, which is kind of a nice change. Got most of my kids around here, so I've almost got the village expanded all the way. I don't think I got anyone in this house. Okay, let me see here. Max, okay. I think I know where I am and the sequence of which I'd like to go, so... Hello there. Uh, it's time for us to continue our attempt to repopulate this village that was depopulated for no apparent reason that I've ever been able to fully figure out. Uh, <laughs> Mission has continued. Nice. So we have Thora. Nothing to do with thorium, which is not involved in making this nuke. Thorium does not make nukes. Uh, uranium does, and that's what I'm going to have to have a few rods of, I believe. And it, it's going to be interesting, to say the least. So while she grows up, I can pop in there and see if I have at least enough to start making ammo crates. Because I will be needing lots of ammo crates. I can let the rest of the stack go through, but this was something I could, I could do in the meantime. So that helped. Although, it's still we've been a... it's still been a... be... uh... Our lips. It's been a bit of a weird trip. There we go. Did it not go through as much as I thought did? Um, maybe it was too purr? Well, it says it's one on one. So I have no idea what happened there. Hmm, or maybe I didn't have as much as I thought I did. Okay, so maybe I have to uh, revisit the crusher. Okay. That's a good thing I have plenty of wheat. Okay. Is 
See, these do turn into... Yeah, they do turn into four each. So that should be another half stack worth. Ish. That was a weird complication. Hmm. Didn't see that one coming. Okay. Well, anyhow. Because I'm gonna... I'm probably gonna just go ahead and have my pliers here. Okay, now I can start assembling the nuke. Okay, I will need the nuke top and nuke bottom. So let's see here. I know I'm gonna need a lot of steel, which is actually made just with cobblestone. Uh, I probably should have made those with one of the other stacks, but whatever. I was trying to do it with a dedicated reserve. Okay, the nuke top and bottom both require uh, five each of steel, plus they require the pliers. You get like 16 in one shot, which is tremendous. I mean, you can use that as a building block, so it, it it's just a hilarious conversion. Like, if I was doing a sky block with... Okay, I do use up the pliers, so that's good to know. Oh, wait, I don't. They're, they're over here. They changed position on me. Okay, we have the nuke bottom and the nuke top. We have the pliers that will fly that way for a moment while I do this with my project chest. Spare pliers, just in case. Because why not? Okay, now one of the things I'm going to be needing is... I need to assemble the... Uh, it's like a timed bomb, and I'm going to need to put that in. The nuclear rod you get in a very particular way. Uh, pliers, a battery, fuel, and a rocket. See, the fuel was... Dirt, sand, gravel, cobblestone. So, dirt, sand, gravel... And I'll uh, just go off this. Pobbles. That gives you a ton. <laughs> uh, uh, hey, a, a hilarious ton of fuel? I mean, that's good if you're using a flamethrower, but I'm assembling a nuke, and oddly enough, I don't need quite that many. Uh, so, yeah, I also need the better. I also need the rocket, which is sand, cobblestone, dirt, gravel. Again, the order is very specific. These are not shapeless. These are very, very specific. But it's just they can fit in your regular crafting grid. Okay, rockets. Um, now, the timed bomb needed... What else? It needed the battery and the pliers. Wait, that's for the detonator. Uh, I got that order slightly off. Again, these are actually insanely specific. Okay, need to temporarily memorize this. Uh, fuel, battery, rocket pliers. Fuel. Battery. Rocket. Pliers. Uh, if the pliers keep fleeing back in. But admittedly, I don't need all these arrows. I've been fighting some skeletons around here while I was taking care of some stuff. So, yeah. Oh, I don't know if I want to have that rocket in my hand. Uh, <laughs> there's a complication I wasn't fully thinking of for a moment there. What if it actually shot from your hand? I, I don't know if it does. You do want to test, because I think I have enough to spare. So, can I just fling a rocket? Nope. Okay. That's good to know. It doesn't just get flung. Whew! <laughs> that, uh, that was uh, a bit of a bit of a concern there for a moment. Okay, the chip, I need a couple batteries. Oh yeah, I need toasters. And loaders. The toasters were steel, seeds, pliers, and a bucket of water. Oh, I need one of my buckets. Uh... 
Do I have buckets in here? Did I stockpile my buckets? Well, I do have my milk bucket. Oh yeah, that's right. I can't drink it like that. I need to pour it out somewhere. Um, hmm. Good question. Where to pour a milk bucket? Need to be a nice little spot controlled. Preferably out of the way. Hmm. Maybe I'll go ahead and just put it in this corner. Uh, Mine Factory Reloaded. It's like the one little detail that <laughs> you tend to forget is that it makes just about every liquid pourable, whether it should be or not. So, there is that. There, there totally is that little detail. Okay, I will need the steel. Let me see. What was it that was going to be? Uh, six of them? Was it the... I think it was the... Yeah, the loader. I can make that right now, actually. Use up a slot. Loader. Okay. The loader is going to be... Things that... That's where I need the... Deton well... I don't need it for the supplies. I need it for the chip. I also need an antenna, which is pliers, steel, detonator, and battery. So, hmm. Okay, I did need more steel than I first expected. Uh, not quite, not quite grown up yet. Okay, we. I needed the. Oh yeah, I needed toasters. Need a couple of these. I do need more steel. That 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 that's fair enough. Okay, let me see here. What can I do? Well, I can put up my fantastic sword for a while to give myself just a little bit of room. Then I'll be able to grab some of these things. So, uh, let me see here. I have my farming products. Maybe I got it under plantables. Because I have like a ton of seeds. It let me through here. At least I usually do. Ah, yeah, I do have. Okay, and the toaster. Steel pliers and that. Okay, so I will need more steel. I knew that already. Uh, I, you know, I should probably swap out my... That's not the one. That's not the one either. I put that in my food thing. Okay. Yeah, I just needed a little spot, because I'm going to be grabbing... Another large amount of steel. This is why I was wondering how many it would actually take. Okay, I need to check up on my smashing, actually. How's the crushing? Doing fine? Yeah, yeah okay, that, that, that's, that's good. So just in case I need more. But we'll see if, if I do. So... Yep, wrong thing. I don't have quite enough space. That's still an issue. Of course, I do have these subcomponents I'm definitely going to use later, so I can just put them up temporarily. Because I don't need the fuel or rockets immediately. I just need them possibly in a few moments. Actually, I'm gonna... I can only do these one at a time because of this. 
toaster. I mean, I, I need toasters for this. So that's, that's kind of an interesting recipe just in and of itself, if you think about it. You need toasters to do major electronics work. Mm-hmm. Is it just me, or does that sound entirely like a bad idea? At least the toaster stack. <laughs> I mean, who would have thought they would be saying that? Okay. Yeah, making the chip. I need the antenna. Which requires one of the detonators, steel, a battery, and pliers. There we go, the antenna. So that takes care of that part. And that I need to... Oh, I could theoretically use it to make a seeker. Uh, not what I'm looking for. Okay, I'll... Let's see, I've got my loader, I've got that. I'll need to make another detonator. Uh, this is a pretty involved process. Uh, pliers, rocket, uh, okay, so I need to get my rocket stuff back in. Okay. Let's put the antenna here, grab these two things. I'm gonna be needing that. Okay, to get the detonator, it was... Oh, I had it a second ago. Where were you, detonator? See, scanning, scanning, scanning. There you are. Okay, battery, rocket, I mean, battery, fuel, rocket pliers. Okay. Battery. Fuel. Rocket. Pliers. Hello, detonator. Nice to see you again. Okay, and th the thing is, I need this chip. The chip is the big important thing for part of it. Okay, two batteries plant. Okay, I have all that in my inventory, I just need to complete it. Preferably put this temporarily outside. Okay. Now, was there anything else in here I needed? Well, th that stuff's gonna come in handy later. Okay, so... Let's see if I can just put in everything for the chip. Yeah, there we go. Still got back my pliers. Ha 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 ha! Hit brands it with your team. Nice detail. Well played. Well played, guys. And this is also in celebration of the fact Rival Rebels is finally getting their independent game just about ready. E weird thing that they actually made this mod just to demo ideas for what their game would be like. Only the the demo is in Minecraft, and the actual game is going to be its own thing. So that's going to be intense. Okay, I have the time bomb. I have the chip. I have the nuke uh, top and bottom. I have some spare pliers. What I need else is very special, and this is why I'm not sure how much of this it's going to take up, because there's a good chance I might actually run out. Because I need the thing called ammunition. Easter egg? Is Does that have... Huh. I'm kind of tempted to figure that out. Uh, bunker? No, I'm not doing that. Uh, let me see here. Weapons, ammunition. Ammunition is where you get most of it. You need four steel, four rods, and pliers. The rods you can actually get pretty easily, is they're just steel in that, so... And the ammunition crate is for those, for those, okay. So let's, let's do this. I'm getting pretty far along, but it looks like I'm probably about to hit that spot, but at the same time, I'm also almost there. Four rods, and... Let's see if I'm really, uh... <laughs> Well, let's, first of all, let's see if I can place it correctly. Let's see if I can... What the? Hello? There we go. Thank you. 
ammunition. You only get one of these per craft. Oh, ready to grow up. That's nice. Okay. Now, the thing is, I'm looking for at least one nuclear rod. I don't need much more than that to make the nuke actually work. Did I really get it first try? I did get it first try. Oh. Oh, that that is beautiful. Okay, okay. Uh, hydrogen rods. Uh, those are good for some very interesting things in and of themselves. Like, that that's partially how I made my rod discs. Because I need one of those pliers and batteries, which is insanely cheap when you think about it for such a cool weapon. Although there's still things that are immune to its kind of uh, damage, and that means it's not quite perfect. But, eh, whatever. I literally, I got 64 fuel. Uh, okay. That, that's fair enough. Uh, I'll definitely consider that an industrial byproduct. Uh... Because I don't need all that. I, I just needed the nuclear rod, because... Gas grenades. Do I have any of those in here? Uh-oh. Uh... Please be okay. Yeah, I think it'll power through this. Uh... Whew. I, I just need to be able to, to open my briefcase. Thank you. Please. And then I'll be able to set the nuke. My full course meal might take me several episodes of doing various other things, because I want to be able to end on having my full course meal actually done. Okay, looks like I'm going to be temporarily out due to glitch. Uh, I'll see you in a moment. Okay, I'm back. I almost forgot a certain little detail of things. Some mods don't like it whenever you have a kid in your inventory. So to paraphrase a certain Undertale moment, I'm carrying too many kids. Uh, yeah, uh, that, 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 that happened. Okay. On the other hand, I think I'm about ready to arm the nuke. Because it doesn't require much after this. So, let me see here. I, if I carefully just move a few things around, then I should be ready to go. Okay, so I should have enough room between this and my project's chest to pull this off. I'll drop her off safely at the village, which will be nowhere near where I'm going to be doing this, obviously. So, yeah, because I would be blowing up Sigma Base, so that is going to be intense. Okay, so I'm gonna... Whoa, whoa, lag spikes. Need to get out of here. Need to get out of here. That's not good. Oh, hold on to the gas grenades in case I need to toss them at something. <laughs> yeah, so trying to mess with them right now seems to not be good for my uh, game. So, there's that. So I'm wondering if maybe... Up, it did it again. I'm also wondering if maybe an update may have changed things, because there has been a recent update on the launcher. Well, not too recent. But they did a big update on the launcher, and that might have switched a few things around and made it where they weren't working correctly. So we'll see about that. We will see about that. Meanwhile... Sun is going down, so perfect time for me to do this. I mean, admittedly, it will light up the area pretty well. Actually, I need to do something else first. It's called, Allow My Kid to Grow. Probably in one of the last unused houses. Everything is having a weird delay. I'm blaming the fact that I have to do this. Okay. Thora, set home here. 
you stay here. Okay. Excellent. She has gone to sleep, which means it's technically nighttime, and I can technically sleep. Which should also reset a few things. Namely, j just the... Oh. <laughs> there we go. I think I just heard a skeleton. Whether or not I did doesn't matter, because I'll be out of here soon and blowing up Sigma base. I did hear a skeleton. Well, since I'll be doing a little something rival rebels, I might as well celebrate with... You were in the very bad receiving anything. Thank you for giving me back my rod disc. Oh, that. Yeah, that, that's that. That'll happen. You know, since I have so much left over, I might as well fill in the creeper crater. Always fixing these. This one blew up a perfectly good tree. I mean, that, that tree was perfectly fine, it wasn't bothering anybody, and then the creeper decided, oh, I'm gonna just explode you for no reason, other than that this guy is standing nearby. You, get, get out of there, you're, you're disturbing the... You're in my... <sighs> you're, you're in the way of me being able place the dirt. Over here. Thank you for getting out of the way. Oh, another creeper. I have cats. Uh, well, I got rid of him. Okay. You know, I'm wondering, can I dispense stuff in a nuke? Like, can I literally just destroy stuff because I've got a nuke? I, I, I'm curious, can I just use it as the ultimate, uh, ultimate trash can? Because there's, there's room inside the nuke to do various things. And, oh! Wait, I actually have some hunger on me right now. Which means I can go ahead and have another piece of my full course meal. So that would be nice. I think I could finally have the salad portion. My berry medley. So that means I will be able to continue on and nuke things while I'm well fed. How many pieces of unfinished business will I be able to do before my full course meal is over? We'll see. We'll see. But at least I know one that's going to be over pretty soon. And it's Sigma Base. He's not on top. Come on. Why are you... Why are you doing this? What is... Oh. Okay. Maybe it was... Ah, uh, that was weird. Just so I can drop off a few things like presents. Okay, now I have room. And I can certainly have room in my stomach. Ah ha ha. Satisfying. Okay, now I'm going to destroy Sigma Base. And no, no doubt about that. Sigma Base is going down. Because I have a nuke ready to deploy. Th 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 there's, there's no way it's going to get past that, because that's specifically the win condition. Now, 
will this mean this world is over? I don't think so. I, I don't think so. And if anything is lost, there are ways of getting things back. Uh, so, yeah. But I, I don't think that'll be the problem. I, I just want to detonate Sigma Base. Because I don't think I've really seen this done before by anybody. It's actually winning over the over, over the enemy base. So, there is that. Okay, guide trees. Guide me to first my base, and then the enemy base. Because it's going to explode. Although, admittedly, it has been the site of many battles. I mean, this will be Sigma Base's last one. Because, I mean, I summoned Ray of Art on top of it, and that didn't even destroy the base. It is specifically nuke only. I really wanted to see if I could replace the block that way. But no, it really is you have to deploy a nuke. So that lesson was learned pretty well. I remember, can I... Yeah, I can, I can... I can do an air dash. But, yeah, it really is specific to only nukes. And there's my sign I'm about there because... Uh, yeah, this arena came on top of it. And now it's also about to ex... Uh, well, it's going to have a large hole in it, if this works. Okay, let's begin deployment process. I don't think there's anything I forgot, I, because I, I practiced this for other reasons. Okay. Top, nuke, bottom. Okay. Wait. Did, uh, did I forget something? Uh... Where, what 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 cap was that? What what was it? What was it? I needed. I. Where are you? Where is that subcomponent? There is something that I needed, and I totally forgot it. Or, cause I have detonated one of these before to check out some stuff. Namely, what all it can blow up. Or is that an optional component? I'm not entirely sure, because I know the timer... the time bomb goes there. Chip goes there. What is that? Do I have to put in a detonator? So I'm not seeing a component that looks exactly like that, that I can see. Do I put in a detonator? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not seeing anything that really looks like... Oh, wait. I need the fuse. Two pliers, a battery, and steel. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. I... I dumped off a lot of my stuff, and I'm not sure if I can trust this right now. I'll first unmorph, just in case that does it. I have some local materials I can use. Yeah, it was because I was carrying too many kids. Okay. But to get the fuse, I needed a battery. I needed steel and pliers. Well, two pliers, actually. Okay. So two pliers, battery, steel. Okay, now we're ready to rock and roll. So, sorry for the weird delay. Oh yeah, I need to use my pliers to even open it. There we go. Okay, let's see here. I need the timed bomb. The nuclear rod. The fuse. And once I hit this chip, it will be armed. So, before I do that, I want to take a screenshot of this, because... Is this this is going to be a one-time thing? 
Yeah, that's definitely going to be my my thumbnail. Okay. Time to... F oh yeah, that's right, I unmorphed. Save your seal. <laughs> You're going to want to back up for this, buddy. Yeah. Radiological alarm. Darn lips. Radiological alarm. Nuclear weapon armed. Ten seconds left. Hell, I read that little late. Team Omega wins. Ah. Uh, just gotta enjoy the good news. That it is getting my free to go after I dipped the signal base. Wow. Uh there's not much left. <laughs> Oops, I was in the radiation field. That was What is going on? I may have to go in and out to 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 check things out, because there, there's something off with that. Okay, well anyhow. Uh, this has been Glitch Reaper, and I'll be logging off for now, so hope to hear from y'all later. And bye for everybody, and remember, apparently there will be more crazy Minecraft. So, nice. <laughs>